I thought it would be useful to do a short section on KiCad and using a KiCad schematic to breadboard a circuit. And the main purpose here uh, would be to be able to have a circuit laying in front of you, not have to go to any of the IC data sheets to pick up the pin numbers. And that's specifically important and a little bit more complex when dealing with digital circuits. So uh, let's get started. A quick explanation. If I uh, click on here to add a part, in this case, I have a 74 LS08 IC, and we know that there are multiple gates on that IC. Uh, they call them units, unit A, B, C, and D. And you'll notice the difference between them as I click, left click on them is that the pin numbers for the ICs change. So I'm using these units or sections or gates within the IC, and unit E uh, deals with the power pin. So we're used to dropping these in here rather haphazardly, uh, putting them on, on our schematic, and that might not help us um, with uh, dealing with, let me escape out of there, that might not help us with uh, hooking up a schematic or that, that might run into a problem where I have to go and get a data sheet to do it. So one of the first suggestions I have is anytime you use a gate, I drop all the gates on the screen uh, somewhere out of the way in KiCad right away. You can see in this case, a 74 LS32 is a quad to input OR gate, and I dropped all units on here at one time, including the power unit. Uh, I did that for a second set of um, OR gates too. So uh, first thing to look at here is if I need to use more than four OR gates in my schematic and I go to breadboard it, I'm gonna need to have two ICs. And I'm gonna be careful when I place these to place the units in my circuit um, in order or at least use all the gates within one IC first. Uh, because if I don't and I put this gate on and the second gate I use in the circuit is this gate, all of a sudden I'm using the same gate twice and we know we can't do that. Um, and I can adjust, but the pin numbers aren't correct. So I wanna keep those pin number correct on the, on the schematic. So that when I go to breadboard the circuit, I don't have to go find the data sheet that's there. So unit A, B, C, D on the one and unit A, B, C, D on the second, and that should work out right. And if you go to annotate these, um, some people like this, I don't necessarily need it. Uh, but if I go to annotate this, um, you'll see that it'll say U1, U, 1B, U1C, U1D, U2A, B, C, D. And that's um, good documentation. If you're going to make a, a circuit board from this, um, that's probably something that would be important to you. What's really important to us in building a schematic that we can follow to breadboard is that these pin numbers are correct and we use all the gates within one IC before we start on the second. So if I move this over here and I move this over here to make a circuit out of here and I move this one over here and I make my connections for the circuit just to, uh, just so I'm not talking about something and you don't understand it. So I'm making my connections and this is my circuit that I'm gonna wanna implement Okay, and we can put inputs on here, right? Um, a, an A input, and I'm just gonna copy each of these and edit the names because I find that to be faster. So we're gonna have all these here. A C, when I'm pointing at something, does the copy. An E, when I'm pointing at something, goes in and lets me edit. So I'm gonna edit the names on here so that it looks like a real circuit we want to see on there and i'm gonna hit the edit one last time which is the e shortcut key and i have all my inputs set up and i can turn around and connect those together so um a little short there 
let me delete that and try and get it the right the right length uh, for what I want and probably should uh, magnify or zoom in a little bit so I can catch those uh, points. So we have the circuit. We probably should put an output here too, right? Um, and we're going to make that go to the right and make it an output. And I'm going to put that down there. And I have uh, what I would call um, a circuit that I could go do it. So when I go to hook the circuit up, uh, I don't have to go and look for the data sheet for um, this IC at all. I have the pin numbers there and ready to go. So I only use three in this circuit, and I haven't exhausted all the uh, gates within that one IC, and that's fine. My suggestion is use all them first. You got them put on the board, then start to drag uh, these in to use more from the second IC. And it keeps things so that you're not using two gates. Like if I if I moved this into position and I deleted this gate out of here, or I moved it out of here, uh, and I put this one in its place, and I hooked it up, when I go to make the circuit, I have a problem. And that is, I used the same gate uh, within two ICs, and I'd have to go to the data sheet and find out, oh, that's I can use an unused one. That's 4, 5, and 6, or pin 12, 13, and 11. That'd be the one that I'm not using not using. So as I said, if you use these in order, you make sure that you don't run into that dilemma where you don't really know what pin number um, it is for a certain gate. So that's my first suggestion. Uh, you saw me do the annotate. So you saw that the numbers, the pin numbers came up correctly for all of these different gates. Um, this is a second gate over here, second type of gate, an AND gate. Um, and I think that gets the point across of how you you want to um, use these and build a circuit that you can build. Now, some people, and I told you all the ICs aren't really have power on the corners, uh, ground at the lower left corner and VCC in the upper right. So that's what this last gate section UE1 is, and that would show you where the ground and power is. Now they don't they don't put them on each gate, they just have one for all the units. You don't need to put this on our schematic uh, for building purposes, other than it would check exactly where ground and VCC is, and we run into those that exception. Uh, we won't have problems with that. In the normal schematic, we would take these uh, ground and power connections. I'm going to move them down to the bottom of the board for each of the ICs that we have here. And we have three of them that we had, right? So I'm going to move these down here. And on a professional done schematic, and you could do this too, um, maybe I'd recommend it. Uh, what they would do is they want to show you where the power was hooked up for each of these ICs and what pins they used. So I've already placed a VCC voltage pin and I placed a ground pin. I don't know if I let myself enough room here. Yeah, I'd like to move that all up a little bit. So let me select all this and move it up just a little bit so I have some more room to put my ground pin in there. I'm moving this by hitting the M key, which is the shortcut key for move. And at this point, I could hook these all up to ground and VCC. Notice my ground symbol looks a little bit different. It's digital ground. Um, KiCad gives you a lot of options, different options for grounds. And since I'm using a digital circuit, I use the digital ground thing. But you can see that now I have proper documentation for this. Um, this documentation also would let me build a printed circuit board too. And I can't stand that right. I don't like my line. Uh, it's got to line up for me. So I'm going to redraw it. So it does. Okay. So we have all the ground and power hooked up. 
We talked about um, annotating to give it what IC number is there. We talked about the gates or the units within each of the uh, thing. Um, one last thing I probably would like to sort of address on this video is uh, I, I really think there should be a shortcut for when I want to place a part and I want to place the next unit, I have to keep on going back here and hitting it and going back, and that's that's not fun. So some people have learned that if they uh, point to this and they hit the C, and that's copy, and they do that, they can make a copy of that gate. But notice it's the same unit number that's there. So if I edit this, if I right-click on edit, or I remember the edit key is E, I can change that to a different unit right away, like D unit within that gate. And that's an easy, might be a faster way to get things on here and you can change the unit numbers so that you don't have to go back here every time and choose the other unit and click OK again and bring that down. That's another way to do it. You learn those shortcuts as you use the system until you're there. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, produce schematics that have um, different gates so that you don't have to go for the data sheet. That's a much better way to work.